another recipe for success is having a guy that can play, huh? 144. This, hey, this dude's fucking unbelievable, Prime. Hey, hey man. he's hey, unbelievable. Hey, man. Hey, football, Travis this Hunter. Kid, this kid, first of all, you got to understand the commonalities that we share. Travis is a kid that really grew up in Florida that moved to Georgia. So he understood, you know, my, my, my journey. Travis loves fishing. You know, I love fishing. Travis is pretty much a homebody. I'm pretty much a homebody. Travis is 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 really recluse to a point like I am a, a, as well when I don't know people and kind of stand offish. But when I'm in the crowd, you know, I turn into him, that dude. <laughs> Travis is all these things times two, man. Like this kid here loves the game. Last week I told Travis, look, you're not going to practice until Friday because, you know, you got a little hamstring or whatever. So just chill. I look out there on the field. He's going both ways on Thursday. I said, Travis, did I tell you not to work today? That's who he is. So this week I said, you off until Wednesday. Love you know, we practiced on Sundays if you didn't play 60% of the snaps just to get my guys, you know, ready, just to give some, your young guys some reps as well. Then Monday we're off. Tuesday, you know, Scott report day, Wednesday we practice. So I don't want to see him on the field to Wednesday. I, I don't want to see him because I know what he's going to do and I got to really keep him strong because I, I went through this. I did this before. So I identify with who he is and how he is and what he is and what he needs to do to continuously be who he is. But this man right here, is a dog. You saw on the shirts. We don't have captains, man. I don't believe in that foolishness. Love that. I believe in leaders and dogs. Every dog ain't a leader and every leader ain't a dog. <laughs> we got a, some dogs. That kid right there is a darn Rockweiler, man. He don't <laughs> play. He texts me at 6 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Let's go, baby. Let's go do this. That's the text I got from Travis at 6 o'clock in the morning. Let's go do this, baby. As I was watching him, Coach, this is literally my first thought. Like, hey, the football god just said, hey, listen, we need to drop something in here that hasn't been done in like 30, 40 years yeah. at a high level and probably never going to be done. We need to drop somebody in here that can maybe be hope for a younger generation that you're allowed to play multiple positions or multiple sports. And there is going to be tough to replicate a Travis Hunter, but maybe there'll be something else. This is different, you know, because normally in a world full of like specialties, like you need to specialize in this, you need to specialize in that, you need to go to a DB specialist in the offseason to work on your backpedal. Right, there's, right. Not, there's not a lot of people that would allow somebody to do both of these things. Now, they you, done it. you, how you going to take me, Pat? How you going to take me somewhere that you hadn't been? How you going to tell me to do something that you hadn't done? You, I don't get down like that. I identify with the Travis Hunters and the others that's coming to Boulder, Colorado, because they say they want to play both ways. But you got to be great on one side. And that was the idea. Hey, you got to be dominant on one side before I put you on the other side, because now both of us are looking like a fool. <laughs> so that Travis Hunter, I, I know what he needs at practice. I know you know, the study habits, the tips. I know what this guy is thinking and, and, and what he's fathoming in his mind. I, I could look at him on the sideline. Okay, get him out, get him out, get him out, give him three plays. And I know when he's ready to go back. So I've been there and done that. So I could reconcile with Travis and who he is and his want. That Travis don't get full, man. He's always hungry. Like he, he even in the game, he wanted more. Hey, I'm open right here. Or do this. Hey, man, let me just take him. I got him. Y'all deal with the red. That's how he gets down. That kid is straight different. Yeah. He is different. He's the first rounder. He's the first pick overall. When is his opportunity to go in the NFL draft? First pick overall on both sides of the ball. Are they going to let him do and both in the NFL, you think? Are they let him do both? Yes. Yeah. Well, only a fool won't let him do both because he's going to be the best player on either side. He's awesome. And you looking that, out for him. Weird. You looking but out he for loves him. The game. Yeah, you looking out. Hey, you looking out for him is a big deal, though. Like, hey, you're gonna take a G day here on Tuesday, okay? We're not even gonna do anything because it's not about how you feel right now, Travis. This is about yeah. how you feel nine weeks from now when we're in some big time fucking games. Hey, coach, I listened to you talk to Joel Klatt. I listened to that interview. I enjoyed Joel, and I uh, I enjoyed you talking to him. And he said, hey, in my profession, in following college football, we know that four more wins or five more wins than last season is a massive. A massive swing of success for a first-year coach. Only one win last year, and you said, I don't want to hear that. Like, I, I want to go win a national championship now. Like, that is yeah. that is what I want to do. And I obviously, obviously know you weren't just talking to Joel there. You were talking to your team there as well. Has right. that been the standard literally since we get in there? We're winning right the standard, now. Go ahead. The standard is the standard, and the standard don't change. 
Like the standard has a location and it don't change whatsoever. Now it's up to us to get to that destination. Like the standard is the standard. I would be a fool to sit up there like, hey man, I think winning four games is great. <laughs> four, four, four games for us? Like, come on, man. We don't think like that. We ain't built like that. We don't talk or walk or act like that. We're here to be dominant. We're here to take over this thing and change the whole darn game and be unapologetic about it. That's the way we, I want my kids to have fun. I want them to do stuff. I don't give a darn if, if we 21 points up, get the penalty, do your dance, baby. What I got you, I got you. Uh, I mean, like I love what I do and I do what I love. And I love these darn kids, man. I want them to go pro. I want them to get the degrees. I want them to be assets to the communities. I want them to be great fathers, great sons. Like I want so much for these kids. I want them to understand financial literacy. I, I want so much for these kids and they love it. And they know I've had my turn, baby. I'm your navigational system. I'm your guy in the, in the corner in the ring. I'm telling you left, right, left, duck. Okay. Now the suit round, that's jab, jab. Like that, that, that's who I am, my man. Pat, that, that's what I enjoy every day. And I don't tire in doing it. Okay. So it sounds like we're going to win a national championship this year. Hell yeah. yeah. That's what I, I mean, that's what I, we got a game here now, a couple days away. Yeah. How yeah, do we this feel? Is my favorite book. This is one of my favorite books next to the Bible. You remember this? Everybody remember this? Yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. The little engine that could. You know what he said? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I would be a fool to ever think, don't think I can. And I think we can. I really do. And we just, as close as we get up the hill, we're going to say, I know we can. I know we can. I know we can. That's what I heard on the sideline. It wasn't just, I believe. They really felt that. And they really believed before we took the field. They really believe it. It wasn't a soul on that sideline didn't think we were going to win that game. And I knew darn well, as long as that ball yeah. is in the hands of number two. Yeah, let's talk about it. We're going to win this game.